I was finally able to watch Saw 10 or Saw X. So here's my review on the movie. Now, before I review it, I watched the Saw franchise for the first time. Like, if you follow my leather box, it was like the beginning of November and I worked my way down to this point. And what, what I thought about those, Saw 1 and 2 were the best. Saw 3 was good enough, 4 and 5 were bad, 6 was good enough, 7 was good enough, 8 was good enough, and 9 was bad. I did not like 9. But we reached 10. What did I think of it? Well, here's everything I liked about it. And for starters, I really liked how this movie focused on John Kramer. And yeah, just a movie in the Saw franchise has not focused on John Kramer yet. And this movie did. And this movie makes him feel like a hero as well. Just everything to do with this movie just makes him feel like a hero and makes you root for this character, even though you probably shouldn't be rooting for this character. But there's a lot of unexpected things I did not expect from this movie that this movie does. I don't remember what the trailer was like, so I should probably watch that, but I forgot the trailer. I did not know what to expect from this movie, and everything I got from this movie was so unexpected. Like, the storyline they have in here, I was not expecting this type of storyline. Like, again, it's focusing around John Kramer which was the shocking part, because we never got in the movie focused on that. It kind of set up everything that followed. I, I really like what they did there. It's a Saw movie, we have to talk about the traps, and this is the most, in my opinion, this is the goriest Saw movie yet. Like, the traps in here are brutal. There's two in particular, and if you've seen the movie, you probably know which two I'm talking about. I guess there's three, but... It's mostly two that made me want to look away. So, yeah, the, the the traps in here are brutal. They are extremely brutal. The most brutal Saw movie yet. And, yeah, this, this movie is just going top by top with the gore. And, yeah, I, I cannot wait for more Saw movies because they're just going to keep going up and going up. Yeah, the traps in here are brutal. They're extremely brutal. Like, compared to the first movie when there was nothing. This is extremely brutal. Like, n not even comparing it to the first movie. This is probably the most brutal movie I've seen all year. Okay, um, in order to talk about this next bit, I'm gonna say spoiler warnings for Saw 2. Only Saw 2. Not, not any other movie. Not 10, not 9. Only Saw 2. So, if you have not seen Saw 2... I'm just gonna spoil the twist in that. Again, Amanda Amanda is in this movie. I I liked seeing her. I liked seeing like the relationship with John Kramer and Amanda because I felt like that was kind of missing in some of the movies. We didn't really get to see them fleshed out. I mean like Saw 3, we saw that, but they didn't really have much room there. But I really liked how we got, we got to see Amanda's side of the situation in the movie. And then we got to see John Kramer's side of the situation in this movie. And I really like those mixtures of both sides. I mean, like, it's not personalities. It's just you get to hear their arguments for each side. And everything worked. I, I loved how they fleshed out these two characters. Of course, I'm going to say this without diving into spoilers because it's a big part of Saw. But... The twist in here, every Saw movie has it, it's not a spoiler. The twist in here, I, I liked. I found completely shocking. That Now, I can't really say anything, because for obvious reasons, but there was stuff in here that, it's, it's just a classic Saw twist. And it's back to those classic Saw, Saw storyline, and a classic Saw twist that come out of nowhere. I feel like the newer movies, you can almost predict them, except Saw 7. Well, a lot of people can pre predict Saw 7's twist. I was dumb enough not to see it. This, I was dumb enough not to see Saw 7's twist. Even though I know the clues were right there in front of me, I still found Saw 3D's or 7's twist extremely shocking. That's why I kind of like that movie, even though 
I feel like I should base it on the movie itself, but uh, we're not gonna talk about Saw 7. Yeah. I like the twist they have in here. Man, that's all I could really say. The movie's not perfect, so let's move on to everything I didn't like about the movie. For me, because I wasn't really expecting how the first half of this movie was gonna go, I found it interesting. And then it... It didn't work well in the moment, but... Once the movie went on, I really appreciated that first act of the movie. But since I did not know what to expect, I feel like the first half of the movie from a Saw movie was not what I was expecting, and I was expecting something different. But with that being said, do not expect the first act to be bad. Because the first act is not bad. It's just that compared to, the, compared to Saw, I was not expecting that first half of the movie to be like the way it was. So, kind of caught me off guard, but let me just say, I still really enjoyed the first act. There's also some things they do in this movie that I feel like... They're just setting up a sequel. At, at, at very small moments, it just feels like they're setting up a sequel. And I'm all for it. I'm, I'm, this movie left me excited. And shocked and everything. It feels like they're setting up for a sequel with a certain thing they do in here. And I wish they didn't do that. I wish they just like didn't do that part and just left it to the sequel. But oh well. Another really small complaint. But at certain moments the pacing seemed to slow down a little bit. But quickly picked back up. That's why it's a very small complaint. But at certain moments I feel like. They could have made the pacing go by a little bit faster. But, like, that was a very small complaint. I feel like they did it really well. It's just, just a tiny bit too long. But, other than that, I have nothing else to say bad. I have nothing bad to say about this movie. So, this all in all, Saw 10 is brings back that classic Saw that you want. I know some people like Saw 6. But for me, it's Saw 1 and 2 that I really like. And this movie just captures that same shocking, awesome feel that you get from the Saw movies. And it's just it's just awesome. Brutal. There's a post credit scene too that I highly recommend sticking for. And it's shocking, awesome, brutal. It's everything I want back from those classic Saw movies. And I can't believe it, the 10th installment in the Saw franchise... Is one of the best Saw movies. It's definitely in the top three of all the Saw movies. Oh, I wish I watched this way sooner than I actually did. I I really enjoyed this movie. I highly recommend, but before you watch it, make sure you have seen the entire franchise, at least Saw 1 and 2. Because it will spoil those twists, at least. But, yeah, I... I highly recommend this movie, and out of 10, I give Saw X a 8 out of 10. I have a high feeling that on rewatch, this movie will boost right up. So, yeah, but thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts. Follow my letterbox, Color Color Man Movie, and I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.